Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to Tech Mobile More. Today's video is going to be about how to customize your S Pen. Now this will work on the Galaxy S21 Ultra, should work on the, uh, the Note phones. Um, the Note 10, the Note 20 should work on those. Now this does require downloading a Samsung app, which apparently is not available in all countries. It's available in 25 countries or so, from what I understand. So um, you can check it out, and if it's available, you can download it. So what this does basically is that Samsung limits what you can customize when it comes to the S Pen within the default app, settings app, on, uh, on these phones but uh, they developed a different app which you can download on the Galaxy App Store which uh, allows you to customize some software settings. Now there's two ways you can download this app. One is directly from the Galaxy App Store. Another way is to download Samsung Goodlock first. So come here and then you're gonna look for Samsung Goodlock. I already have it here because I searched for it. So just press on that and I already have it downloaded so I'm just gonna open that and just so you know guys when you're in the Galaxy App Store it says the developer of this app is Goodlock Labs but Goodlock Labs is owned by Samsung so this is Samsung's own app so you're not technically downloading a third-party app or anything this is Samsung's app so when you're in the Goodlock app it's like a hub and it includes other apps that you can download individually. So when you're in the Goodlock app, make sure you hit the family tab here. See there's two tabs on the bottom. Hit the family tab. So once you're in the family tab here, you're gonna see the Pentastic option here. Now if you already haven't downloaded this, instead of this symbol right here, you'll see an upside down arrow, and if you click on that, it'll download this app here. Or you can just go directly to the Galaxy App Store that we were just in, and instead of searching for Goodlock, just search for Pentastic, and you can download this app only. The way you want to download it is up to you, but once you have it downloaded, you can just open it up, and it's gonna give you a few options that you can change. So the first is your, your panel. This is the panel that opens up when you, uh, when you click the button on your S Pen that gives you access to all the different apps that work with your S Pen. So basically this is the default, but it gives you other options. So you can change it to, to the compact mode, the line mode, the circle here and the retro. They call this retro because I remember when I got my Note 4, which was the first Note I ever owned, this is what the, uh, the original panel looked like. So that's pretty cool that they give you the option to choose this. You can't change this within the default setting app. You have to download Pentastic. And another thing you can change is the pointer shape. So the pointer is what shows up when you have your pen close to the screen. And the default is a little dot. It just looks like a little circle. But this gives you the option to change it to an arrow, which they call basic, a heart, a crock row, Lisa, cookie, and there's also a custom option, so you can click on that and add your own image, which is pretty cool. Now the final option here is a double tap shortcut. So if you click on this and you turn it on, you can map any one of these apps to the S Pen. Now the default settings app does allow you to open the Samsung Notes app with a double tap but this allows you to open whatever app you want basically. So it just allows for more customization. So that's it guys. 
it's not a lot of extra features, but it does add some extra stuff you can customize for your S Pen, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I don't know why Samsung just doesn't include this in the software. Um, I don't know why they make you download a separate app, but that's Samsung for you. And that's it. Hope you found this video useful. Give this video a like if it helped you out. Smash that subscribe button. I will be making more videos about the S21 Ultra and also reviewing more tech stuff, whatever I can get my hands on. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.